Hello everyone. Very good afternoon. I would start by recalling a shout out feature that was being uh, told in today's keynote that's industry specific. Now the point of starting from that is because my talk is going to be in line with that. So that's where I just wanted to make that connection. Now this talk is going to be focused on a specific industry which is the hotel industry. So would be presenting how we would be able to achieve 20% increase in the revenue by harnessing Odoo's features. So that's about the today's talk. Just to start before, a glimpse on what we are. So the company is Brainwire and we are a digital transformation company focusing more on product ideation and transforming them into the realities. We are a global company located across USA, UK, Canada, Middle East, Singapore, and India. Besides are some accolades which we have been achieving, INC 5000, Deloitte Fastest 500, and some others, we have around 200 plus um, clients who have rated us on Clutch platform. And then if you look towards our footholds, from 12 plus years, we are into uh, this industry and we've done around 2,500 plus projects so far with 95% of customer retention. Moving next on our Odoo proficiencies. So we have 380 plus Odoo resources who are working upon 300 plus live projects. And we've done so far 120 plus integrations. That's the bi-directional integration with the third party systems to give the end customers a full end-to-end -end business process automation. About myself, I am Priyal Shah, a business analyst at Brainwire with five plus years of experience into different segments, retail, supply chain, manufacturing, and uh, the others working into different segments, where my major role is into suggest suggesting the system architecture optimizations, like which of the systems would need to be there at a right tech stack. So before I start onto the presentation is where, housekeeping things to be done first. So can you please scan this uh, code so that if you have any questions amidst the talk, you can just write it down. Thank you. So skipping this, going right away onto the key discussions today, what we have. So the key discussion points include the challenges of this business. So it's going to be a hotel industry use case, which I'm going to take it. So what challenges does this hotel industry face onto? After that, what our solution proposition is to make this industry operate a bit more better than it is currently. Solutions, and then we have the key outcomes, like the key features what we are showcasing in this particular solution proposition. And at the end, there are some factual outcomes which I would be showcasing upon. So next, starting with this particular industry slide, I would like to take up a use case here. The use case is a way, consider yourself as a hotel manager. Now, when you are yourself as a hotel manager, you know that the rooms and the other things needs to be, the bookings and the other things come from several different channels. And managing that channels is going to be a huge issue for you. Because if you don't have a centralized system to achieve it, it's going to be coming from different, different segments. As a manager, you have to sit there, you have to look into the uh, allocations of it, and accordingly, the pricings and other things needs to be varied. But here, the challenge is, as uh, like you cannot directly go sp onto each and every channel engines and go there and keep uh, updating things. 
So there needs to be some automation which needs to sit in to figure this out. And that's where I would be discussing upon. Along with that, the other thing, this wing of the talk is focused on channel management. The other challenge which we have is in terms of hotel operations. So if there is one centralized system which is managing the front end channels, the rooms, the bookings, the allocations, along with that, if I'm able to have the folios, the customer folios or the guest folios managed in the same system, it's going to be a throughout end-to-end -end solution which would definitely be very useful and that's the use case which is coming up next in the proposed solution. So if you look towards the proposed solution, the solution proposition is, proposition is such that, that we are considering Odoo as a hotel management platform. It is going to be same, similar to hotelier platforms. So there are many hotel management solutions which are already available. So we are considering that as a centralized solution and to that we are adding one layer that's a channel manager layer. This channel manager layer is a separate layer built upon in a separate tech stack if you look towards as a React bin use. Again, that's used for a specific reason, though a bit technical, but communicating multiple channels and there are multiple APIs and the calls which are happening. So to have all these things, we need a flexible tech stack to handle all this in real time manner. So that's where React is being chosen upon. And then when you look towards, there are multiple portals, the online booking portals, which, which would be connected to the platform, which I would be calling it as a channel manager. So this is something like SiteBinders and others are niche softwares. They're working in this industries. And this kind of software, I mean, you are, uh, the users have to actually go and subscribe in other things. But if at all, if there is a solution which stays integrated and intact with Odoo and it's just for your hotels, it becomes very easy because through the channel manager, you would be able to manage the different, different channels coming in. All the OTAs, the travel agent bookings, the offline bookings, the website bookings, we can have everything in this channel manager along with those booking portals being integrated to have a centralized hub there, which would be communicating with the main software, that's a centralized ERP, Odoo, to have a source of truth of the hotels, their the rooms, their bookings, the reservations, and other things. So this is a bit um, kind of sequential diagram, like how this proposition would work. So from you go, from a user perspective, a user, user you can consider as an end user, a customer. So it, if at all, a user or a customer their first front face would be a front-end website. That front-end website is going to be the booking portal of the hotel itself. So that's one thing. Next thing is, we would have a back backend to it, that same custom solution, which would constantly be talking to the different OTAs and the online channel managers, like you have GoIBBO and the other which ways. So that is one thing. After that, if there are any offline bookings coming in, again, all those things would have to be done in the front-end website, which the hotel would be, uh, which would be owned by the hotel. So that's the front face. Now, all those things would have a central backend that's going to be Odoo ERP. So whatever rooms, the hotels, you would be configuring upon, that would be done at a master level in the ERP and ERP would be sharing all this master level information to the custom solution, that's the custom channel manager. Custom channel manager is going to be working as the uh, way in which all the channels are going to interact. The website, hotel's website, the offline um, booking agents, the OTAs and the other several engines. Next thing here, so if you look towards with this, at least I'm getting a centralized structure, a centralized source of truth in Odoo. But the next challenge goes in, bookings, I'm getting it, okay, one place to book in, and this is going to be seamlessly communicating with Odoo backend that, hey, these many rooms have been booked. So that's done. What about the next challenge? That's the price, because the today's uh, main agenda is to have a 20% increase in the revenues. How would that be achieved? So for that, the logic here is to build upon a dynamic pricing structure. 
within the channel manager itself. So the channel manager should have this kind of intelligence, a kind of AI feature which needs, which is to be leveraged into it and that would be leveraged based on certain parameters. So the parameters is based on the, based on the demands and based on the external factors. External factors could be any, any event, any uh, season specific. So all these factors based on the demands of the booking, they need to take care of it and the logic needs to be created by the uh, model itself and this would be trained once and then it would go ahead and train itself by the uh, I mean by on the go the bookings and the other requests which are coming in so with that this channel manager needs to by itself a user needs to first give it a range that hey this room needs to be sold out at from this range to this range now within that range the logic needs to work out in a way that they need to follow this range. Similarly, they need to look towards the demand of it and by looking towards the demand of it, they also have to do that variation in the rates accordingly to get the profit for the company. So that's about this kind of sequential diagram, front end solution, website and then going into the Node.js backend and that would constantly talk to or do ERP to get it. Going ahead, this solution proposition, what key features would it have? So if you look towards the key features, real-time inventory, I have Odoo as a source of truth. So any booking, any reservation of any rooms needs to go ahead and update Odoo backend. So that's one thing, dynamic pricing. As uh, previously described, certain para parameters, certain KPIs inhibited into the system to act accordingly to give me dynamic pricing. Performance analysis, if I have the data, if I have the booking data, definitely it's going to be, uh, it's just uh, analytics which we have to build upon using the, utilizing that data, which is definitely possible. Room bookings, and so bookings again, is going to be happening through the same channel, and after which way, folio management. So folio management is something like, with a room, what cross-selling, upselling, you're going to do it. And as a guest, how much he has utilized, he or she has utilized. So considering that at the end, there is an entire folio which gets generated through the system. Next section is towards some POCs. So now if you look onto the screen, these are some POCs, what I have been talking so far in terms of architectural diagrams and in terms of some sequential diagrams. So if you look towards, firstly it's room and rate management. Odoo, single source of truth, Handling my hotel uh, hotel details, handling my room details, defining all the rooms, and after that, once the rooms have been defined, it's where we go ahead within the rooms and define the ranges of the prices as a first and the last range for the automatic logic within the channel manager to work upon, to give you more revenue without a human going and intervening into it and uh, having a loss of uh, manpower, which which can be done by a system itself. So that's about the masters. Next POC goes in, reservation. So if I have the rooms, if I have the range, send it to the channel manager. The next thing is coming the channel manager. Here, the channel manager role is to send this data to all the OTAs to send it to the website and everywhere. Timely manner, they just need to keep a watch onto it and they need to update the prices according to the traffic. That would be done and at the end it's going back into Odoo and telling Odoo that hey, these are your bookings and these bookings are from so and so different channels like Agoda you can see there. The next is in terms of make my trip. So these channels would come in, in the Odoo. So for a manager, single source of truth, go inside Odoo, look into it, which channels have given how much revenue and at what prices. And other which ways, we all are aware of it, Odoo is capable enough to handle the other things in terms of the profitability and analysis. So that's second POC. The third POC goes in terms of a booking dashboard. So as uh, at a CIO, CEO level, the always need is to have a dashboard which has all the insights all at one go. So that's a next POC which we have kind of dashboard, you get the check-ins, check-out requests, total availability, and based on the room types, you have the bookings, which are uh, clearly visible to you on the dashboard. The last POC goes in in terms of folio management. 
so here what we are doing in is kind of orders have the sale orders uh, module or the sales module of odu is being curated here to work as folio so utilizing that we are able to generate the orders uh, sale orders or the invoices to the customers or to the guests based on the uh, features or facilities they have been availing it throughout their stay so that's about the folio management how we would be able to use it defining the folios and its management lastly it's a whole hotel dashboard so there was one wing which was in terms of channel management and there is next wing which is towards the hotel dashboard in terms of how many check ins you have how many check outs you have and what kind of uh, like today's staff today's employees count all these things would be uh, there within that dashboard so down you would be able to see there are events and other things as well so if it is a hotel definitely there are some other things also uh, which goes in hand in hand like events taking up the events managing that event and then having it all so for that we have been leveraging odoo's event modules then there's a front desk uh, front desk module so considering all those module suits uh, the hotel dashboard has been arrived like every module performing its own operations and that's where coming on to the dashboard to give you a high level view on it last two minutes i would uh, be summarizing things and i would be uh, speaking upon the tangible outcomes so if you look towards how do we get 20% growth one is one factor we get this growth directly because the system is now managing the dynamic pricing so if at all because of human error if you are losing something that's eradicated now so that's the direct one next thing is if the employees are now Uh, able to do the other works and not focus on all these things which already the uh, the system has taken up then operational efficiency of the employee has increased so they would be able to perform what they are best at considering this at a overall level with the pricing with the employees operational efficiency we say that it is 20% uh, revenue gro growth with this particular solution then we have 30% operational cost reduction as well because definitely going into every different systems and managing it is not what uh, suits like for a industry for a hotel uh, which may may not need all these uh, different different people or employees working on all those aspects which can be automated so that's the other thing and then we have uh, the automated revenue management 10 20% 40% booking de uh, dis discrepancies reductions so if you look towards booking discrepancies if it is a third party channel manager and versus a solution which has been proposed right now that a channel manager talking constantly with odu this has a vast difference i mean this is created the channel manager created specifically to work with odu for your industry rather which ways if there is another system they would have a shared thing and there could be some amount of delays so this is going to be work working in a way to eradicate the discrepancies coming in and it's going to be a real time full proof solution staff productivity better decision making guest experience all these things come hand in hand to help uh, and increase the uh, experience of the customer in terms of bookings in terms of their stays and other things so going next um, just wanted to touch base on our clientels here so we have been working with uh, these many clients uh, so far many more but these are someone which we wanted to highlight here so cure international collegium ajmal perfumes send and table so all these are from different different segments which we have been working upon uh, we are also working upon with a kind of club management uh, system that is singapore's uh, club spgg so even uh, those are our uh, Uh, things which we are working upon clientele nlc that's a thank you from my side i'm open for the questions here well thank you so much for the presentation we have here a different question Mm -hmm. The first one would be uh, how much experience you have in retail and how this can be used. So I think you already answer, but if you can answer again. So retail experience is same. Like if I if I talk about companies' experience, it is uh, 
10 years, we have been working with the retail industries as well. So that's the experience comes in. And the expertise with the other clientele being showcased. A lot of good clients I saw in, in that list. Uh, the following question would be, what is the maximum efficiency to you expect the AI recognition model to get to? Would it reach 100%? Um, can you please get yeah. me again? What is the maximum efficiency you expect the AI recognition model to get to? So maximum, uh, maximum efficiency in terms of, uh, initially it could start from 60%, 70%, but with fine tunings, the MAPs and fine tunings, we can achieve it to the maximum level as well, 80, 90%. Okay, perfect. We also have a last question. Are reservation done by room type or by specific room? Yes. So um, the master data would have all these things, specific rooms, specific room types, with the variants that would be handled. And the same data is going to go into the uh, front end for all the OTA. So they just need to select from the drop downs. Accordingly, the rates would vary based on the logic. And it's going to be a reservation based on the room types uh, room facilities, you select it accordingly. Perfect. We don't have more questions until now. I don't know if you want to say a last word. Uh, I think that's it. Just want to summarize in one, uh, one minute, taking up what we had. So this is a solution proposition which we have of having Odoo as a backend, utilizing maximum what we can utilize from the Odoo, uh, the product masters, the accountings, having several modules combined together to give a tailored solution for the hotel industry, backed up with a channel manager, building up a layer on top of it to handle all these OTAs. So that's the today's proposition. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.